Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning. Um, our next question is from Sherry Dennett. Again, Ms. Dennett, if I mispronounce your last name, I apologize. Her question is, was the pl public pre-K approved for um, Elm Street, um, for uh, uh, Elm Hill School? And the, um, and the answer is no. So in the budget, it was voted down. So, um, and, and we didn't bring it back in the second proposal. Now, what is, what is fair and true is I have said, um, we have a five-year strategic plan right? Which is saying like, these are the things we need to do, these big items. And we have nine goals uh, in there and they're, they're all available on our website to see what the plan is for the, for the next five years. And um, one of those goals, goal number one is to create a therapeutic pre-K option, not for every student in Springfield, but for, um, for a chunk of students in Springfield. So it is true that eventually I have said, and I think this is true, over the course of the next five years, we're going to try to find a way to come back with a proposal that the community believes in um, and structure it in a way that the community can back because we believe it is in the best interest of the long-term mission of the district um, to do so. Now, we are not bringing it back in this proposal. It is dead for this year. Uh, and I'll be honest, I think that's a shame. I think it's a, I think the proposal was designed, it was going to be hard because we're going to move some grades, um, but the proposal overall in terms of what we're spending and what the services that we were providing was specifically designed to help out some of our, at the earliest grades, help out some of our kids in the most need so we don't have to send them out of district to very expensive placements, that those kids got what they needed and then weren't disruptive to other their peers. Um, and so that was the goal. And then we still believe in that as a concept. We think there's tons of research behind the fact that this is the way to go. Um, but we it was voted down and we had it in a separate article. So we're not gonna bring it back this time. Um, I'm not sure if we'll bring it back in the, you know, when we get into next year's budget conversation or if we're a whole nother year out, um, but we'll see. So, um, so no, it was not approved and no, it is not in, in this um, budget proposal. I, I have seen out there rumors on different uh, social media sites. I've heard people say this, oh, they're sneaking it in again. <laughs> no, we are not sneaking it in again. Um, uh, we believe in it. And I, you know, I believe in it and it's part of, again, the, the district's strategic plan to do this because we believe in it. Um, but it's not something we're going to bring back in, um, in this particular proposal because we feel like it would be disrespectful to do so. People have made their, have, have made their opinion heard. They had a, we had a very large voter turnout uh, because of the, um, the primaries um, and people voted this down. And so we would feel disrespectful to throw it, just throw it back in. We wouldn't do that. Uh, so it's not in there. Um, in some years, some year down the road, will we bring something back that maybe looks a little bit different, but still tries to accomplish, you know, getting pre-K kids uh, an opportunity? Yes, probably. But it's not in it's not in this year's um, this next vote on June sixteenth. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks.